Hi, I'm Brian with Kissmetrics. Social media has been a buzzword for the past decade, but have you ever stopped to ask yourself, do all of these tweets and status updates actually do anything for my business? If you're not taking care of some of the basics, the answer is probably not. Today, I'm going to give you four things to implement in order to start getting results out of your social media channels. So let's get going. Tip number one, insert a link to your website in the short description of your Facebook profile page. The short description shows up just below your Facebook profile for non-local pages, and it allows you to enter a short description about your business and links to external URLs like your website in this area. This allows anybody that comes to your Facebook profile page to click that link, go to your website, and find out more information about your company. Buffer does an excellent job of this with a perfect call to action. This takes just a second to do, so if you haven't already, do it now. Go to your Facebook page, click on the Edit Page dropdown in your admin panel, and then click on Update Page Info. Find the Short Description section, click the Edit link, and then enter your business's description with a URL. Tip number two, engage using your Facebook page. One thing to keep in mind about Facebook is you have two different types of pages. You have a personal profile and you have an actual company page. You want people to come to your company page and not your personal profile. One trick is to interact on other company pages. Click on the settings wheel icon at the top right of your Facebook screen and select the page you want to use Facebook as. Then find the Facebook pages where your ideal clients are. For example, I could engage with potential customers on the pages of sites like Buffer. Now you can comment on questions that their fans have and ask questions of your own. Then when someone sees your comment, they can click through to your fan page and even your website. Tip number three, turn tweets into testimonials. One of the best ways to build credibility with new potential customers is to show them the success of your past clients. Start digging through mentions of your company's username for great tweets that you can use as testimonials. When you find a good one, hover over it and click on the more link. Then you'll find the embed tweet option. Paste this code on your website wherever you would like for it to be displayed. Now you'll have a live traceable testimonial that you can share with new potential customers and they can verify it their self by following that tweet and interacting with the person that left it. Tip number four, place links directly into your professional profile. One big change that LinkedIn recently rolled out was moving your website URLs into the contact info section. This means now somebody has to click contact info to see your website URLs to navigate then to your website. However, to counteract that, there's two other areas that you can place your website in so they'll have more visibility and increase the likelihood of them clicking through and landing on your website. You'll find them in the right sidebar after you click on the edit button on your profile. This section is great to share your latest apps, software, courses, and other projects. Both allow you to use URLs with UTM parameters for additional tracking. And that's it. Do a quick audit of your social media accounts to make sure these four things are implemented. If not, Spend the next hour and do them immediately. Now it's your turn. What is one small thing you've done to your social media accounts that's made a big difference? Share it in the comment section below. All right, that's it for this week. Until next time, happy analyticking.